yeah, the bouncing grounds around here. Though, there's no harm in exploring for a bit. Are you kidding me? Come on! And here we get a missile shard. And if we go in here, I said if we go in here, Sora. Sora. It's not that hard to go in there, really. It gives us a shield too, G. That's gonna actually benefit us. And if we smash this, we get a mithril. But one of the key things to note is if we go over here, because then I got a rear nut, which we can only carry one at a time, but if we also fly carefully down here, we get a dark matter. And here comes Owl, master of the tutorials. Only, not this time. Bring these rear nuts to Owl though, and you can do them as early or as late as you like, but you need to do it within here before you can get the full reward. And you do need to finish the mini game here. We'll give you some items. Power up, put defense up, and with the next one being right here. I'm guessing it's an AP up, or it's going to be like an elixir or something. Mythical shard. Well, close enough. Still something useful. Holy crap, I did not know I can jump in there. That's actually cool. right there. Can't break that one. And for this rear nut, Owl will give you an AP up. There's the one I was thinking of. Let's get those out of the way, shall we? Power up. Defense up. AP up. All of X to Sora. Pfft, there goes my Vanguard. Hard. Uh, wow. Me nerding out with Vanguard. Hey, we're gonna save this last rare nut though for after the mini game. Before we give it to Owl. Now. They're going to be testing you first before the big one. There's no real tr tries for completion here. This one, just take as many tries as you need. But do time your jumps. Because they disable glide for you. In fact, they disable your high jump here. This is where you need to pay attention. So 
jump to there. Are you? Wow. Go me. I can't even skip this word. <laughs> it's going as a mini game. Jump there. Jump here. Jump here, and then jump back to here. And here. And here. Then jump right here. Jump all the way to there. Jump all the way back, and jump up. Oh, yeah. This one's a little challenging because of you being launched up to there. And the fact that you can miss the hitbox of the seesaw. So, angle yourself. Use the select if you need to look down and see it. But angle yourself so you fall on it. And then just jump normally. See? Yep. And now it's time for the mini game, the real mini game. Tigger's big pot. Just whack the nuts back at the pot to shatter it. The closer you are, the more points you get. You only need to finish this within 30 seconds. I couldn't get back up fast enough. I messed up. It kind of has me failing. Thankfully, you can get a retry. Oh, shoot. Not again. Get up there. God dang it, Sora! Seriously, seriously, you. How can you not grab a ledge? This is so dumb! Oh my god, Sora! You just want me to stay here all night. Do you? Let's record Kingdom Hearts for 24 hours! No sleep! Is that it? Oh well. Now it worked. And, and there was another AP up. 
which we are gonna put to use right away. Yeah, we could try to see so if not we already got around. Like if you don't have high jump and glide, then yeah, the seesaw will help, but we had high jump and glide, so we kind of took care of everything already. And your roar for this one? It becomes Mithril. And now for the final one. This one will be done with the 100 acre woods. What is Pooh up to? Yeah. Yeah, Pooh doesn't know those are his footprints, but... I'm gonna give this one try to see if this will let me. No, it's just gonna throw me up. Yeah, Cause I wanted to see if it could. See if I can hit that though. Yeah, getting that early, that actually will help. There's a little angle that I did not realize you could actually hit it from. Yeah, once you talk to Eeyore in here, the game will begin. Just return everyone to this spot within five minutes. You can use R1 to guide Pooh, but really, there's only one character you need Pooh's help with. Just attack this to get Rue down. No need for Pooh. That pretty much sets things up there, and Rue's done. Already nice and in. Next closest is Rabbit. He'll be in here. Talk to him as soon as he jumps out in one of the holes. But be fast about before he goes back in. That takes care of three friends. Now, for this one. Ride the wind. To the log. Don't let Tigger knock you off. Fire. First burn the web so that way when the time comes to get poo in, it'll be much easier. And Tigger! Oh, you are not ass, Tigger. Is this revenge or that perfect score? You have a very twisted idea of revenge, Tigger. <laughs> Passed away when I talked to him. Anyway, that makes four friends. Now, we want to be a bit quick here. For Al. Which we're probably going to miss him. Yeah, we're going to miss him. Crap. Yeah, Piglet's the one you need to bring Pooh along. This one's not really that one. They give the illusion to take, you need to, to bring Pooh for everyone, but really, the only one you need to bring Pooh for is Piglet. 
Uh, there's now one tower's in there. You have to wait for him to fly down, of course, to talk to him. Bring Poo to the flowers. The butterflies will carry him up there. Do not lock onto Pooh, because then he will fall down, and you'll have to do all that work again. Jump into the well. Let it throw you across. Lock onto Pooh. Bring him to the log. He'll do the rest and either climb his way through it, And glitch through the, the beehive. And bring him to the next set of flowers right here. If he would cooperate. Sometimes he'll climb the log, sometimes he'll go through it. But yeah, then bring him towards where Piglet's hiding. He'll go in, he'll talk to Piglet. And that puts Piglet right out there for you to talk to him. You can direct Pooh down you want but just talk to piglet and you're done that is everyone and in three minutes and it becomes the exp ring which is an item to actually boost your exp gain Tigger, Piglet, and Pooh had voices, though. Oh, anyway, the other characters will have voices in another game. About, um, what to think about. <laughs> well, I'm off. As we'll get to see more Sarah, of the Winnie the Pooh cast. I'm gonna go look for my friends. They're waiting for me. Oh, sound back again. <laughs> I hope you find your friends. Yep. That's a good way to end off this one. Some probably rather won't, but we will. Is technically like a keyhole as well. Which ends Winnie the Pooh. We have three of the two requirements, but we're not gonna get cheer. 
Not even off screen. Like, I'm not hurt to be without you. It's not really. I'm getting all the treasures, sure, but I am not gonna be 100% completion. Otherwise, I would be pretty much buying all the weapons. Anyway. Another summon gem done. And that gives us Bambi, which is meh. That's all I'm gonna say is meh. Yep. We are pretty much fully complete. That is everything. Everything that this game has to offer us. At least for now, until then. So, next time, folks, with our now freaking 41 strength and 33 defense. Holy crap. I actually want to see for myself. now gives us a not only a good ability setup but prepares us completely for the next world so next time we will journey to oh actually I might think I might actually will split this into multiple parts because I have a few clips to show you either way that's everything. We're done. We showed everything. The thing we need to show. Oh. Before we get to the end game portion. So, next time we enter that end game. So, until then. Later, everyone.